time to talk money with AMP and Tony. Tony, did you have a lovely long weekend? Yeah, it's a very nice weekend. Thanks, Paul. Stayed here in Auckland, but it was really, really good. You look like a mini-disc kind of guy to me. What 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 rubbishy technology did you ever invest in that I never took off? so much old rubbishy technology <laughs> still. I knew like, it. Except for the mini-disc, but I do have a Laserdisc player. Oh, great. As well as a VHS. So you're the guy that bought the Laserdisc player. Well, I can remember my mum actually recording the Royal Wedding as well. That was oh. big in 1981. Was that so. a funny thing? Funny thing is, in those days, we used to watch them back, whereas now people take photos yeah. and they never look at them. Um, some people don't even know how to retrieve them. Um, right, we're talking about managing your money with credit cards. The funny thing about credit cards, they can be the best of times and the worst of times. Absolutely, and I pondered credit cards a bit like a lot of people probably did over the long weekend. And look, a few bits of advice. The obvious thing is, if you can, to try to pay off the full amount every month. That's not always practical. So at least try to pay more than the minimum amount. And another thing you should stop and think about is actually your credit card, how much is your interest rate because a lot of the credit cards typically they're charging an interest rate of 18 to 20 percent so that's something to think Bastards. about you should also look at reviewing your credit limit now typically that you know the bank gets in touch with you and says hey do you want to lift your limit but look if you're having trouble pa making your payments yeah the last you thing you need to is to increase your debt limit down yeah. you know rather than and, you know think about it not so much how much can I spend on the card but how much can I repay so possibly you know reduce your limit also look at you know never, if you can, withdraw cash, and the, unless you've preloaded the card with some cash. In which in case it isn't really a credit card, it's a debit exactly, card. Exactly, because if you start withdrawing cash, you immediately start paying the interest rate. You don't even get that 30 to 40, 50 day grace and some period. Some companies have a fee for withdrawing cash too, they don't do, they? Yeah, yeah. so again, that, that's something you can really get into trouble with. And the other thing, and we always talk about this with things like mortgages and term deposits, but shop around. Just look at the different deals that are being offered by Brilliant. the credit card companies, because there's all sorts of things. There's not just the interest rate you're paying. Some of them have rewards. Just look at the thing that is you know, best yeah. for you. And the other thing is if you're paying bills with credit card, make sure that they haven't loaded the bill so you pay an extra 2.5% if it's exactly. a credit card. And, yeah. and at the end of the day, see, this is a good chat. At the end of the day, if you're able to manage your money, the cheapest way to pay your bills, the most convenient way, is using a credit card. But the key is pay the full amount every month and you'll never be charged interest. Yeah, that's right. You pay it off every month and you get that interest-free period. But if you start getting into this Ooh. mess where... Oh, you know, you're it's, in a mire. A, it's a slippery slope, and it's unbelievable how quickly, because of compounding interest, it can build up, and, and you know, people can get into some real Absolutely. trouble. Absolutely, and never, ever, ever get another credit card to pay the bill on your previous credit card, because um, that is that's the you're in a labyrinth. Then, um, thank you very much, Tony. It's